Life lately has been extremely exhausting. The Hmong you're listening to right now is the very <sighs> exhausted Hmong who I know it's not the real me, so I'm just waiting for the real me to come back. I just need to know how to find my way back again. Oh, you've got so many obstacles in front of you. <laughs> wow! And then you should look like a mummy. We are trying this for din dance. Okay. You don't look impressed. It's okay. It's a bit salty, but I think it's okay. Salty? Salty. I'm pulling for a shoe tape, but I can't. Okay, okay. Fine. Is it ready? Is it ready? <laughs> so lame. Can you just turn on your own light? <laughs> so we're at round two because it was too little at home. So we to Olivia because I wanted to let them try the cheesecake and eat some more food. We ordered the eggplant, never tried before, but I wanted them to try the uh, mushroom. Uh, Ray, Cheryl to eat my favorite cheesecake. Olivia's cheesecake. Mmm! It's very nice. I'm not kidding. Okay, right, right, right. But it's yeah. really very nice. Wow! Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's Life lately has been extremely exhausting. Um, I think the whole weekend was dedicated to Micah because he's not well and um, looking at his skin just makes me feel extra guilty because I'm, you know, between both parents, I'm the one with the health issues like the skin problem, lung problem, whatever problem, you know, like even mental problem. I, I would say between me and I am the one that um, just can't deal with a lot of my own emotions that well and I get affected and I bottle a lot of feelings and stress up within myself um, yeah so his skin has been really bad today I called I mean I waited all weekend to call this clinic that um, was highly recommended by many mummies like a doctor that is apparently really good at treating babies with eczema. Um, they are only open on weekdays and I waited all week and to call to try to make an appointment to find out that I have to go down physically to queue and I was told that the queue can take up to a few hours. I mean, having to cough out three hours or four hours of my time potentially to wait at a clinic um, is really giving me a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. I just wanted to find out how do you guys deal with stress and um, are you guys like me like where you you just constantly feel that you can take on you can you can you can and you just push yourself forward and forward and forward until one day even if your mind says yes your body says no because that's what's happening to me right now like I got my blood test results back like I shared with you guys earlier I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what exactly happened but um, basically I have to be on lifelong medication. It just sucks to have to take medication for the rest of your life at 30 years old. The Hmong you're listening to right now is the very <sighs> exhausted Hmong who I know is not the real me. So I'm just waiting for the real me to come back. I just need to know how to find my way back again. I'm here at the skin doctor. Micah, do you know you're gonna see the doctor soon? We 
all pretended that we didn't know it's her birthday. <laughs> it's so bad. And then I was like, I was like, oh, let's go eat on Chick Tan because like. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, because I was like her birthday, then like go eat like our usual hawker center. So poor thing. But we had to pretend it's called the Queen. Bring them the YY. Told them to try the clay pot yimi. They still go back and eat chicken rice. But this one say the chicken rice is nice. I don't really think it's great lah, but anyway. Like oh yeah, someone's a secret admirer. <laughs> Look at this bowl of mee siam. You guys told the YY. We're working out of four seasons today. I'm here with Noble Panacea. I just heard so much about the brand from the brand manager and I looked at her skin and she was like the prettiest, she's got like the clearest skin, like super plump. It's just so nice. This brand is like extremely atas. I've never heard of it before, but every single thing about them is just so like well made. Even the cutter, because they are made into single doses and this is a cutter. So you just like kind of put it in here and then you just press a button and it just cuts it for you. Oh wow, don't they have a fruit at all? Super sweet. It's definitely what passion fruit. fruit. Yeah. It's definitely passion fruit. What are you talking about? Guys, what fruit is this? Clearly it's passion fruit. Girl, should I say that one is not passion fruit? Yeah. It is. No, you don't taste it. It doesn't taste like. Mm, it's not passion fruit. What is it? Sister fruit of passion fruit. What are you talking about? You mean the sister of passion fruit? <laughs> okay, we are back in the room and I'm gonna do my skincare right now because today I've got the Fenty Beauty Masterclass that I'm hosting at the Flyer in a bit. And before I head back home, I thought I would show you guys the wet compress method that I love doing. And you guys already know, with this toner and this um, calming lotion together. So these are from the brand, the lab I belong to. So what you want to do is take some sort of like a bowl or a cup or a little plate, make your own concoction. I find that doing this with this toner and this lotion actually really gives me a very nice hydrating milky kind of texture. And then you should look like a mummy at the end of it. <laughs> but trust me, it's gonna be so worth it because your skin is gonna thank you for it later on. Let's see how nice and just bright and hydrated my skin looks. And trust me, it just feels like water. My skin drinks it all up, so no greasiness. Especially for those of you with oily, sensitive, acne-prone skin. You don't like to go in with a sheet mask. If you think sheet masks are too rich for you, you go in with something like this. Oh my god, look at the skin! There's no filter, yeah. This is my view. He has started laughing yesterday. Let's see if we can make him laugh today. I got Adrashi reading the newspaper in the morning. <laughs> I 
at those. They're really large, you know. 